guys welcome back to my channel my name is Pilumi if it's your first time coming across my channel you're welcome on this channel I share sewing tutorials craft tutorials and DIYs in general so if you're into that kind of content please consider subscribing to the channel I like this video share the video with your friends and leave a comment I'd like to hear from you so today I'm very, very excited I have something exciting and I want to sew and I'm really happy to share that with you as well um, Sorry, I was sitting on my hair. <laughs> and yeah, um, let's just get right into it. I don't want to talk too much because I really want to see how this will turn out. Um, I want to make a selkie inspired dress, but with Ankara. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen the selkie dresses, the I know the Bridgerton esque <laughs> kind of dresses with the empire waist and the puppy sleeves and the gutter dress skirts. I think that's really cute. Um that is not on my sewing that my summer sewing plan if you haven't watched my summer sewing plan um you should go watch it it's quite interesting but <sighs> i just want to sew it don't worry we'll get to the plan later <laughs> let's sew this one first so today i'm gonna be using my last holland text fabric i also did an unboxing video for this this is the fabric i have left i have used the remaining two it's empty so sad <laughs> let's get right into the video okay so measurements that you need to make the top part are the upper chest circumference the full bust circumference the under bust circumference the length of the top which will be from the upper chest line to the under bust and then you need your bust span and then you also need the measurement from the upper chest line to the bust point and then you need some side to side measurements which are the side to side for the upper chest side to side for the bust and side to side for the under bust okay so now let's get drafting Okay, so sewing this is actually going to be easy as well. Let's start with the front, um, the center front and the side. Okay, so I'm done sewing the, the doll, the top of the dress, um, corrected everything, it's no longer gathering at the sides and I also sort of reduced it, it was a bit too long so I took it, uh, I took it up by about one inch. So this is it, the next thing we're going to do is attach the sleeve to, oh I did it <laughs> upside down, so I have two of it. Um, so let me just show you how it looks this is it 
So I'm gonna attach the sleeves to one of this. Um, and then, let me just show you. Okay, so I'm going to fold my sleeve in half, right sides together, just gonna make sure that it's, it's really hard to tell with Ankara sometimes which is the right or the wrong side. I think this is the right side. So I'm going to sew up the side seam of the sleeve and then I'll show you how to attach it to the bodice. Okay, so I have my bodice here, right sides facing up, and I have the sleeve right here. I'm going to face the sleeve right sides together on top of the bodies, uh, matching the back and the front. Okay, so this is basically it. Um, I'm going to pin this like this and then take the other bodice and place it on the sleeve so that the sleeve is sandwiched in between the two bodies right now so I'm just gonna match up the side seams okay so once that is all done I'm gonna tuck my sleeve away tuck my sleeve away and I'm gonna pin the rest of the bodice to itself pin along the back chest line okay so this is it now this is my upper chest line this is my armhole and I'm gonna tuck the sleeve away again and pin the front chest line this Okay, so this is the situation. This is the uh, the the upper chest line for the back, and then the armhole. I've also pinned the sleeve. The sleeve is sandwiched in between, and then to the front chest line, the armhole, and to the back. So I'm just gonna sew this all around. Well, not round, but you know what I mean. <laughs> sew this up with um, half an inch seam allowance. So I'm done top stitching and now I want to insert the elastic to the top of the sleeve. I have this half inch elastic that I'm going to be using and this um, bias tape that's about three quarter inch. So what I'm going to do is, so this is my sleeve head. Um, on the right side, I'm going to place my bias tape right from the armhole all around the top basically all around the top and then when i'm done flip it over and then this will be my bias my um what's it called <laughs> my elastic casing so this is about a casing and then for the bottom of the sleeve i'm going to fold it in twice half an inch first and then another um, about three quarter inch that way and sew it and that's where I'm going to insert my elastic um, casing so um, let's just do that now bias tape at the top and then a regular elastic casing at the bottom Okay, so <laughs> I put it on and I have adjusted the elastic and I have this much left at the end. And uh, hi guys, this tutorial is everywhere. <laughs> it's been hours since I last, last picked up the camera. I had a guest over and so I had to stop filming and sewing. But before then I had done quite a lot of things. Um, I had finished adding the elastic today bias tape um, elastic casing i also did the sleeve the bottom of the sleeve 
I added a, a one inch elastic band to the hem of the sleeve while this one was half an inch and then what did I do I also gathered I sewed up so remember I have three panels for the skirt one for the front and two for the back um, so I joined it at the side seam I wanted to add a pocket but I got carried away I forgot but it's fine without a pocket anyways um, so I joined it by the sides the two panels and then finished the row edges with uh, overlocker and then I gathered the skirt to fit the waist the high waist um, so right now I haven't sewn it I have just gathered it and pinned it onto the front um, the front top right so remember we have two the front and the back the lining and the, the front so right now I'm just gonna sew the skirt to the top and um, but it's looking good so far let me just put it on and show you guys I hope I don't pierce myself with pins um, but this is it so far this is how it's looking I think the gathering is nice it's not too poofy but it's just 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 right okay so yeah and then when I'm done then I'm gonna also gather the ruffles and add it to the bottom of the skirt oh yeah so the ruffle so what I've done is where's the ruffle <laughs> okay here's the ruffle it's really long I haven't gathered it yet so basically just joined on all the panels together and I have also hemmed it, folded it in twice and hemmed it. Um, so the dress is actually pretty simple to make. It's just um, getting the measurements right for the top part that's important. But the rest of it is just blocks, rectangle blocks that you gather and hem and the sleeve adding the elastic to it. Basically. So I'm hoping to finish this today then all I'll be left to do is add the zipper at the back yeah let's continue sewing so I'm gonna be using this metallic zipper at the back I'm really scared of invisible zippers nowadays so I'm staying clear of them so um we have the facing or the lining and um, the top i'm going to pin the zipper to the main body itself and not the lining so just open this up okay now let's go so Okay, so zipper has been installed. So to finish it off, I'm going to fold away the top of the zipper and then cover it with the facing of the lining. Okay, and you're gonna pin it. So when I get to the bottom, I'm not gonna pin all the way um i'm going to fold it over like so for the same allowance half an inch upwards and then pin it so and that's it guys i love 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 this dress it's so playful girly and yeah it's it's just it's just really everything i love it um thank you for joining me on this sewing vlog i hope you found the video helpful let me know if you're gonna make something similar and if you do do share with me on instagram at underscore sophilia studios i love to see your makes um so yeah that's it for today don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video share the video and engage with it in the comment section i really really appreciate that all right guys um happy sewing and i'll see you in the next video bye